Hey, what's up guys? I really wanted to make a video about mathematics being a language and I'm going to use a few examples from Harry Potter to demonstrate this. And the funny thing is that I did a quick search for Harry Potter and NASA and I came up with this ridiculous mission poster for STS-124 with the Harry Potter lettering and the movie poster style. And it just again shows you how close the connection is between Hollywood and NASA and Hollywood and government for that matter. But um, anyways, mathematics is definitely a language. It can describe fiction and nonfiction. And we need to really keep that in mind. Um, as you can see, there are many, even physics, theories that are well supported by mathematics, but later they may be um, discarded or rejected due to new scientific discoveries and observations or you know, knowing NASA, it's just whatever they prefer in a given year, whatever their current theory might be. But um, like I said, all these models will have mathematics describing them. All these theories will have a lot of mathematics backing them up, or I shouldn't even say backing them up, it's describing them. And we have to rely on science and observation and testing to prove a theory, whether a theory is true or not. So that's really what I want to focus on in this video and I'm not hammering mathematics I love mathematics and like I said it is used in every aspect of life I mean there's mechanics physics equations that are used in all areas you got velocity you got acceleration equations equations of motion um, you have waves and optics equations used all throughout industry and life um, thermal physics you'll have solid expansion liquid expansion I mean these are very useful uh, linguistic descriptions of the reality we live in so that we can you know in terms of industry we can make products in terms of predicting um, airplane routes you know acceleration deceleration wind speeds all of this stuff so it's very useful mathematics and like languages we can describe reality we can say this is a horse you know and we can go out and touch a horse we can ride a horse but we can also use language to describe something like this. Um, this is a pink unicorn on a rainbow. Now it's describing it, it can use perfect grammar, and I'm sure you can even come up with some mathematical equations for that, but it's not reality. We can't test it, we can't observe it, we can't touch it. And then we run into the same thing when we're dealing with space and this make-believe land of space, especially if you talk to somebody, even informally have a discussion, if you say, oh, you don't think this rocket is going to space or this or that and they'll just start throwing out their little mathematical description for their make-believe land of space their orb orbital mechanics and it all works out the mathematics is great in their fantasy land it works out but it just may be that a fantasy land it may not be reality we can't test it and observe it we have to rely on pictures given to us from the wizard the wizard of oz or nasa so this is why I really wanted to make this video to demonstrate the fact that we can take something like Harry Potter on his broom and we can apply some mathematics. We can come up with problems even. And we can describe how fast Harry Potter might go on his broom or the magnitude of his displacement. And we can have fancy little diagrams and we can solve mathematics and come up with an answer. Now, and we can even have pictures from Harry Potter movies now, does, do the mathematics support that and give us proof that this broom, flying broomstick in Harry Potter exist? Should we say that's reality now because there's a mathematical equation backing it up? No, <laughs> even though this picture is pretty realistic. We can't say that. We, that's not reality. That's not science. We're falling back into our pink unicorn on a rainbow land. That's what I like to do when people start throwing this stuff out there. I just say, you're living in Harry Potter land. The mathematics is true. It may be true. Well, there's, if you take Star Trek, they have Klingon language, and there, I'm sure there's a lot of physics you can throw around in Star Trek, too, but it's, it's a TV show. It's not real. Um, they'll start throwing around, oh, escape velocity. That's another one of their favorites. You know, they have orbital mechanics and escape velocities, the two buzzwords people love to throw out there. And that's fine, and we can throw out our own little Harry Potter physics. Let's take something like the Golden Snitch. Let's just make up any, a problem and an equation and say this thing's flying at 30 meters you know, per second at this angle and 
Harry Potter's got a magic glove and he's going to throw it up and he's going to catch this thing and, and let's figure out you know, when exactly he needs to throw this magic glove up to catch the golden snitch and, you know, and we can have a problem and have a bunch of equations and we can work it out and then we can come up with um, how high he needs to throw it and then at what time he should throw it. You know, that's, that's awesome. Does that prove that this golden snitch exists and that it's real and Harry Potter, his magic glove is real? Uh, no, we're falling back into pink unicorn on a rainbow land. So this is really the approach we need to take with the space peddlers. We can't allow them to suck us into their world because that is what it is. It's their fantasy world of space of planets, of spaceships, of zero-g, of astronauts making soup and throwing water around on the ISS. This is their make-believe world, so the problem we run into is we, we try to take them on in, in an intellectual discussion on their terms. It's make-believe land, and they can apply a million different mathematical equations to a million different made-up scenarios with their fake CGI images and their Hubble telescope, and they just they just make it up. We really have to just take that out of the equation and get back to real science. What is real science? We have to get back to testing, observing, verifying, analyzing, and just realizing the fact that mathematics is a language. I think if we all have that knowledge in our arsenal, we're better off. And, and I'm glad it explains your model and your theory but unless you can observe it and touch it and test it, it's just a theory. And there's many other competing theories out there that have mathematics describing them as well. So I think if, at least personally, I like to keep that in mind and, um, and use that. So it's, it's called my Harry Potter mathematics. And I use that to counter when somebody quickly throws up, a, oh, you don't understand orbital mechanics. You're just debunking this because... Even though you're pointing out these inconsistencies with rockets being made out of you know tin and aluminum and surviving what NASA claims they survive, or their magical spacesuits surviving these crazy radiation and temperature changes, um, and when you try to, you know, you can only deal with these people so far on their own turf in their own fake, made-up world. So when it gets to that point when they start, you know, going down the oh orbital mechanics prove it you know just escape velocity is this and and you don't understand it because you don't have a phd well that's when i just throw out the harry potter math and and you know I, I do love mathematics and i completed calculus in high school and had a little bit in college and i understand math and i'm not afraid of math so you know that's why i just wanted to put this out there we none of us should be afraid of the math they throw out there because it is very complex and yeah it's very difficult to understand but it's also describing a make-believe land. So I think if we just throw that back at them, you know, don't give me your Harry Potter mathematics. Let's get back to reality and this, let's discuss this logically and let's get some proof. You know, let's, let's go across Antarctica. Let's do stuff like that. Let's keep it simple and let's keep it logical and let's keep it real. Let's not be intimidated by these guys. Let's throw it right back at them with their Harry Potter math. So thanks for watching and again I just wanted to stress the fact that mathematics is simply a language it does not prove anything by itself it is just used to describe a theory so have a great day adios Pink, fluffy,